that uh, orange juice. Let's hear it one time. Richard Nacho and the Nighttime Philharmonic. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> you know, uh, in the monologue, we were talking and teasing super delegates. What are they? What do they do? A lot of people are confused, but they're very important, especially to the Democratic side, because the Republicans don't have super delegates. Guess what? We found one. We're going to bring him out here, and if he doesn't show up in the cape, like I said, I'm going to be real disappointed. Please help me welcome Super Delegate Josh Wish. <laughs> ah! No cape! I thought you'd fly in, yeah, Josh. <laughs> Well, I hope I didn't go too far with these super delegate jokes there. No, no, I, I just actually uh, recently flew back in from Ecuador. I was uh, visiting a friend for his wedding. The cape came in handy, but uh, <laughs> I just couldn't quite bring myself to Ecuador. Tonight, you so, see, these, yeah. these super delegates are all over the world. Now, <laughs> is there an easy way to define a super delegate? Uh, there is. There's pretty much a literal definition. Um, a lot of people actually object to the, the term superdelegate because it makes it seem like superdelegates have more of a vote than regular delegates. Mm -hmm. The official t name of a superdelegate is an unpledged party or elected official, otherwise known as PLEOS. Um, PLEOS? PLEOS. You can see why they call them superdelegates yeah. instead. The dyslexics um, came up with that. <laughs> PLEOS super. <laughs> I get it. Uh, so basically what it is, is it um, superdelegates came into play after the 1980 presidential election. Um, and superdelegates consist of Democratic members of the House of Representatives, Democratic members of the Senate, Democratic governors, mm -hmm. um, and then you have Democratic uh, party elected officials. Um, and that's where people like me come into play. Okay. Now, why? Why are there superdelegates? Well, after, um, uh, between 1968 and 1980, there was some feeling uh, that the elected officials had had their roles in picking the president diminished too much. Um, and so there was a feeling that those people who are close to the pulse of the voters, who themselves have to go and get themselves elected, uh -huh. or who are deeply enmeshed in party politics, should have some kind of a, a role in what's going on. I got it. Yeah. So, so the people who think superdelegates are just these independents who are doing what they want, it, it's actually uh, primarily driven by elected officials who are, in fact, uh, you know, doing the will of the electorate. See, that's, that's interesting. It depends on which elected officials you talk to. Oh, thought I, I know. had. I'm telling you. It's thought just, I had. This close. It's just crazy. Um, <laughs> because you've got, you've got elected officials um, who, the, the fact is superdelegates can vote for whoever they want to, right okay. up until the convention. Oh, and quick caveat. Democrats I, or Republicans? No, actually. Okay. Because they don't, they're not Republicans. Right, and a superdelegate, if they um, endorse a Republican, uh -huh. will lose their status as a superdelegate. It happened to Joe Lieberman this year. Uh -huh. Once he said that he was endorsing John McCain, he lost his status as a superdelegate. Took his cape away. Took his cape away, you know, <laughs> and you know, gave it to someone who needed it more, which you. I think is good. Yeah. <laughs> but when actually, and, and I must say as a caveat, I will be losing my cape in a few months. Oh. Um, I'm a superdelegate uh, because I'm the vice chair of the Democratic Party. Okay. But at the state convention in May, we will be elected a new chair and a new vice chair. Um, and I've already publicly announced that I'm not going to be running. Um, I was, I'd was i stepped in to try to, to help out and do my bit for the party. So as of May, there'll be a new vice chair of the party, and that person will be the superdelegate to the National Convention in August. Now, a lot of the people who are watching right now were saying, OK, so I stood in line to caucus for an hour and a half. My vote still counts, right? Superdelegates can't supersede, pardon the pun, what I accomplished. Technically, yes and no. I mean, he here's what's probably going to happen. Right now, you've got. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you're not in politics? <laughs> hey, you know the one-armed politician, right? So, super delegates. Um, it, there's a very good chance that they're going to follow um, the pledged delegates. Pledged delegates are people who are chosen. So, when Hawaii votes, and there are 20 delegates pledged from Hawaii as a result of the Hawaii caucus on the 19th. 14 of them went to Obama. Six of them went to Clinton. Those people have to vote for those people at the first ballot at the National Convention. Okay. Uh, what's probably going to happen is there's, there's a very good chance that someone is going to have a clear lead in those pledged delegates um, mm -hmm. leading up to the convention. And there's a pretty good chance that the superdelegates are not going to want to be seen as thwarting the will of the voters. Well, because then, you know, voters will show up to their house with, you know, kryptonite. E exactly. Okay. It, it's the only way to take down the cape. It's the yeah. only way to yeah. get there. Okay, <laughs> I, I think you've, you've 
we're clearer on what superdelegates are. But you know what? Uh, regardless, folks, get involved in the process. Whether it be Republican, whether it be Democrat, yeah. please get involved because that's the only way that we're going to improve things. Josh, absolutely. Thanks for all your hard work. You superdelegate, you. <laughs> we'll be right back with more nighttime after this. We're going to talk a little bit more to Josh in one minute. Don't miss the best entertainment in Waikiki. Imagine a show with five of the greatest stars in the history of show business. Elvis, Tina Turner, Little Richard, Whitney Houston, and the Blues Brothers, recreated by the world's greatest tribute artists. Stars in concert, showing nightly except Wednesday at the beautiful Sheridan Princess Kaiulani. Two optional dinner packages, free parking for dinner guests, stars in concert, don't miss it. At your Hawaii Pizza Hut, the future is now with online ordering. Select from our full menu. Set your delivery time for now or later. Connect at the office. It's online ordering at PizzaHutHawaii.com. Now you can order online and get a large specialty pizza for $3 with the purchase of a large specialty pizza at regular price. Point, click, eat at PizzaHutHawaii.com. I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> we're back, ladies and gentlemen. We're talking to superdelegate Josh Wish, who straightened out somewhat what the uh, superdelegate thing means. It's hard to straighten it out. And by the way, so you know, Josh and I met uh, in the uh, oh, it was a 2004 campaign yep. and uh, you know, helped organize the uh, poll watchers and all right. those people who, who work so hard at those polling places. What, what you up to lately? Uh, well, I actually very recently uh, went to work for Congresswoman Maisie Hirono. Um, oh, hey, right on. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Um, actually, I uh, just uh, started working with her. Um, I'm, I uh, fortunately get to stay here in Hawaii working for her, so I get to work in the local office, um, which is good because uh, otherwise my wife probably would have put the kibosh on that. Well, you know what? Come back and we'll talk a little more about Maisie and what you're doing for her and That'd be how great. we can uh, help you on that one. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, that's our show. Special thanks to Mayor Mufi Anneman, Linda Wong with the Gourmet Affair, and of course, Superdelegate Josh Witt. That's our show. Good night. Nighttime is sponsored in part by Hawaii IPTV, Hawaii's global television network, rocketing Hawaii around the world directly to your TV. Order online at tvfromhawaii.com. Andy's Auto Servicing provided by European Auto Tech, servicing all makes and models. Mention Nighttime for a special discount. Got a song to sing? A band that rocks? Got a story to tell? Email us. BookingBumatai.com. That's booking at Bumatai.com. Hey now, want to join Andy and the Nighttime Gang? Come be a part of our nighttime audience. Check out our website for dates and times of upcoming shows. For more information or to watch previously aired episodes, go to nighttimehawaii.tv. That's nighttimehawaii.tv. Oh yeah.